Hell has just frozen over. Yes, that's right, because after almost 10 years, what was once impossible has now taken place, and CM Punk has returned to WWE. It just goes to show the age-old adage is true. Anything can happen in the World Wrestling Federation. At the end of Survivor Series War Games, in Punk's hometown of Chicago, right after the main event, Cody Rhodes' team, Avengers, just defeated the Judgment Day. We got this absolutely monumental huge return like one of the biggest returns of all time like this is huge absolutely huge never ever thought i'd ever see this again to be honest in this video i'm going to break down some of the thoughts i have on this we'll see some of the reaction from the wrestlers some of the people on social media some fans and we'll look forward to the future what exactly does this mean so what is the reaction of the average fan to this? Well, let's take a look at the comments below to see what's going on. The mad lad Triple H has pulled it off. That's crazy. I agree. Ivy's coming in. One of the greatest moments of all time. We are back. We'll have to see how this plays out, okay? Because I think it really depends how the run goes. If he has a really good run, this is going to be an iconic moment. But if it ends in disaster like the AEW run does again, it kind of takes away from this moment. So we'll have to let it play out. Of course, that famous promo he made when he joined AEW about leaving sports entertainment Look, this guy's going to have to get on the mic and cut a promo. I'm just really intrigued what he's going to say. Is he going to eat his words? It's so exciting. Ella's frozen over. Yep, like I said, I think that's a fair reflection here. SpongeBob, all hail Papa H, of course, the guy pulling this off. You really have to wonder what Tony Khan and the rest of AEW's reaction is going to be to this. Of course, this is so fresh right now. Like, it will be really interesting to see where we go from here. I just have one question about this appearance, though. Holy shit, is that a CM Punk reference? I think this guy right here hits the nail on the head with the hammer. Props to WWE and CM Punk for keeping this under wraps. Mending those fences. You say mending fences? I think it's kind of weird how you burn bridges, but you mend fences. But anyway, whether it's your cup of tea or not, it likely wouldn't have happened so soon if not for AEW's existence. So yes, thank you, Tony Khan. And point number three, of course, we can all agree on this. Wrestling has ruled this year. Some fantasy booking for Mania 40 here. Punk versus Rollins, Cody versus Roman. I think I'd go a slightly different route with this. More on that in a bit. This return is huge, but of course, it's kind of overshadowing the return of another legend. Randy Orton, who returned after 18 months out. We didn't think we uh, it was possible. We might never have seen Randy Orton return again. So really huge night, both Orton and Punk returning. I think the thing is, though, that Punk was just a bigger shock. Orton was announced already to be returning. So while it was great to see Orton return, like Punk is just a surprise for so many reasons. And yeah, I think it's just fair to say the general reaction of people to this, the general consensus, people, USA Network, they're getting in on it. People absolutely cannot believe about this are very, very exciting. They got the merch on sale already, like they are fast. And the thing was, this wasn't on the cards at all. This was so unlikely. In fact, it's left me with some egg on my face as before the show, I put this tweet out. Sorry to break it to you, but there's zero chance CM Punk is at Survivor Series tonight. Well, now who looks like a fool as, uh, as uh, Richard Wright is pointing out here this age badly. Haha, <laughs> yeah, good one, fuck you, Richard. And you know who else didn't see this coming? Triple H, as he says, it's a mighty cold day in hell. Posting this photo, didn't ever think I'd ever see these two sort of in the same room together, embracing like this. Hey, it just goes to show that time can heal all wounds. And this is how unlikely this photo was. Super Zoe, my God, barbecue. It's an AI generated image. You cannot fool us, right? Right? But yeah, that just goes to show I don't think anyone ever would have seen this happening. Of course, let's not forget that these two are not friends. There is some mighty bad blood here. And it's just so unbelievable the fact that he has returned to WWE. I will say that maybe the takeover of, you know, TKO and UFC taking over WWE from the McMahons and that now there's no McMahon friend other than Triple H if you count him as a McMahon. Um, I don't really, but like... So you could say there's no McMahon presence in WWE currently. And of course, corporations, you know, they're not people. You, you don't hold grudges against corporations. They don't have feelings. They don't have personalities. You know, WWE, not the same company it was 10 years ago. It's completely different people, completely different management. You can't hold a grudge against a company because it's not a real person. There's no point. So I think, you know, props to CM Punk for putting that water under the bridge there. And like, you know... Maybe he just really hates Tony Khan and wants to wants to show him, but, you know. I think at the end of the day, it's us, the fans, who benefit from this. 
So let's just take another look at that return then from a different angle. This is fan cam footage here. I just thought I'd show this in case for a bit of a start to get copyright struck. That has 15 million views, by the way. It hasn't even been like 12 hours yet. It's been like eight hours since it happened. 15 million views on Twitter. I don't know how much on YouTube or whatever, but yeah, absolutely huge. So if that does get copyright struck, then here it is from a different angle, fan cam footage. I gotta say, this must have been absolutely crazy for anyone in the arena to witness. Because they kind of swerved it as well when they were like, oh, Randy Orton isn't coming out to the ring and being in the cage with the rest of his team. Maybe you think like, oh, Orton's not there at all and it is punk. But then, you know, Orton did come out to his music and they were really like, I think they announced um, Orton's return ahead of time make people think that Punk wasn't returning or just to like really emphasize like don't get your hopes up for Punk because Orton is the fifth member and then Punk returns anyway. What time is it? It's clobbering time! God, what a fucking mark. What is wrong with me? And like I said, the fans are absolutely delighted of this. Look at the smile on CM Punk's face right there. This is a video of him leaving the arena last night. Look how pleased he is home. Fans absolutely love it as they're just swarming his car here. He's stopping, signing a few autographs. Look, CM Punk is always, it seems he's always in a mood. He's always complaining about something. It is kind of wholesome, though, to see, like, a smile on this guy's face when he's happy. I think when you have a happy CM Punk, that's when you're going to get the best work out of him. When this guy is on top, he, you know, does do some incredible work in the ring and on the mic. So... Yeah, really excited for this run, actually. So the fans are absolutely ecstatic about CM Punk's return. How do the wrestlers feel? What about you, Rollins? What do you feel about this? Look at this video here. Rollins, absolutely furious at CM Punk's return. And of course, these two, there is some bad blood. Rollins here. Is he playing up to the camera? Is he, like, genuinely furious? I don't know. But what I do know is that we do have our new meme template here. When you ordered a box of 20 nuggets, I mean, don't give you the sources. Yeah, this is my reaction exactly. This is how I feel. But yeah, I think the general consensus of fans here is that this is a work and it is Rollins playing up. Look, Michael Cole is back. If your world heavyweight champion is genuinely that angry, you know, your 50 year old commentator holding him back is not going to do it. I think this is a work. What people are not so convinced is a work is Drew McIntyre's reaction to this situation. Drew McIntyre stormed out of the ring, stormed out of the arena, and there was fan cam footage of this, but it looks like it's actually been copyright struck. So maybe, you know, Drew McIntyre's reaction to this is completely real, and WWE are trying to keep it under wraps by hitting this copyright struck. So, have a look for this if you want to see this video. I was going to show it here, or, well, I can't now because it's been copyright struck. Maybe I could find, like, a different video of it, but I'm not going to show it in case this, this video gets struck. Go and search for it if you want to find it, but it looks like, yeah, Drew is pissed about this. So what about some other wrestlers then? How did they react? Here is Rhea Ripley's reaction to it. He doesn't seem to like it at all. And here is CM Punk doing the Randy Orton pose, which Randy then replied in kind, doing the what time is it? It's clobbering time. So some mixed reaction to Punk's return by the wrestlers to say the least, but I think this one takes the cake. Matt Riddle is really not pleased about this. Mr. Zero and Two, of course, talking about his UFC run. Riddle, of course, used to be at UFC. Had a pretty good record, I think. I think he may have been undefeated. CM Punk, of course, never even won. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with Riddle. He seems to have gone off the rails since leaving. What about Cody Rhodes? What does he make of all this? Of course, Cody Rhodes, the other big star to jump from AEW over to WWE. I think let's get his take on this. He can help with where we're going and what we're doing. Absolutely. Welcome aboard. I won't play the full clip because it's like a minute long, but yeah, I think a very level-headed um, response here from Cody Rhodes. Basically like the businessman in him. You know, if you can bring him in and he helps the business, he helps make money, he helps sell merch, he helps get eyes on the product, then he's all for it. This next video I'm going to show you, I think it's actually really cool. It's a compilation of YouTubers all reacting to CM Punk. I love, you know, when AJ Styles debuted at the Royal Rumble, I used to just go back on YouTube and watch people's reactions to it because that was one of the times, like, I, I wish I recorded myself 
watching Matt show because my reaction was crazy and I like watching other people's reactions to it as well. So this is really cool to see uh, a compilation. Someone has gone through and taken all of those, these reactions from the watch alongs, stitched them all together into one video. So you see the ads of everyone here. Maybe you recognize a few of them. I know I definitely recognize most of these guys. So go check all of them out. Um, but yeah, let's play this and see everyone's <laughs> everyone's collective reaction to CM Punk. This is when the music hits. So there's some pretty crazy reactions here. Look at con man's face, suplex losing it. Santi can't even stay seated. Petiti's going wild. I'm waiting for him to appear here. There's like another reaction. Like con man's run off, suplex run off. They're going absolutely mad here. Absolutely love this. Just going to share some more reactions. Just because first of all, I absolutely love watching these. And second of all, I want to help like get some more eyes on these YouTubers. In fact, this guy. He's a much bigger YouTuber than me, but look at his reaction as he's slowly realizing. He's like, oh, shit. Right here, I'm not sure if these guys are YouTubers. They're just a bunch of friends hanging out, hoping to see big CM Punk return. That guy with a CM Punk t-shirt. And look at them. Look how happy they are. These are grown men. This is how big this moment is for wrestling fans. This is absolutely huge. Look at the joy. They're jumping around. And wait for it again, the second reaction when he actually appears on the ramp. There it is, look, these guys absolutely love it. Shout out to Wrestlings as well, some absolutely top wrestling creators from the UK right here. CM Punk! CM Punk! CM Punk! Look, this guy in the top right is going absolutely crazy. Just look at the smiles on these guys' face. Guy in top left can't believe what he's seeing. Just absolutely such a huge moment. I think, like, there isn't a single wrestling fan alive that was not shocked at this. <laughs> of course, when anything huge like this happens, there's some great memes always to be had. Can't believe we got CM Punk before GTA 6. I mean, facts. Here's a line that Triple H said in the press conference. If you're still the same guy you were 10 years ago, you messed up. Everybody grows. Of course, something I mentioned earlier, big, big bad blood between... Triple H and CM Punk. But Triple H has grown. CM Punk has grown. This is what Triple H basically said in the press conference. It's a different company. Of course, the AEW run didn't go so well, and there were some apparent behavioral problems there. Of course, he got fired for getting in a fight with uh, Jack Perry. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. I think WWE is a much more professional environment backstage. It's been around a lot longer, so everything's going to be much more well established. Just, uh, CM Punk's worked there for a long time as well, like, he hasn't worked there for a while, but he did work there for a long time when he did, so I think, you know, let's see how it plays out, let's see how he does fit. Do you think CM Punk will be on SmackDown or Raw? Let me know in the comments below. I personally think that CM Punk is going to return to Raw, main reason being I think Judgment Day are on Raw, Cody, Jay, uh, Orton and Seth all on Raw. Am I forgetting someone else from that team? But yeah, they're all on Raw. Oh yeah, how could I forget Sammy and KO? Of course, they haven't caused any controversy. Um, so I guess maybe, maybe they're just not included in this video. But yeah, I think everyone's on Raw. So I think that would be, you know, the obvious place for CM Punk to go. If he's going to feud with the people he returned to, maybe he d does go on SmackDown. But I think, I think especially right after the event, Raw is the next day. So like, I think people are going to want to tune into Raw to see what he has to do. So I think he's going to be on Raw. And what's going to happen when he does turn up on Raw? Well, of course, CM Punk is still the real AEW World Champion. Does he still have the belt if he turns up on Raw? Drops the belt in the bin a la Alundra Blaze. I think if that would be a very cool moment. I don't think that would happen, though. I think that would be very petty. I don't think he probably doesn't even still have the actual physical title. And even if they did, would WWE actually want to acknowledge AEW live on air like that? Like, probably not, but if this does happen, it would be incredible shithousery. We have Justin Wang still maintaining his belief that CM Punk is also going to be the devil on some Rick Rude type shit. Would love to see it. Don't really think it's going to happen. In fact, I, I'm almost certain he's joking here, but uh, it would be very cool if he's on both at the same time. And something else that did quite shock me, I wasn't expecting to see this. Um, I'm not going to read all of this out because it is quite long. 
This is talking about how Impact is going to become TNA again. CM Punk did have a run in TNA before he signed with WWE. And apparently, they made a big money offer to CM Punk to try and get him to TNA, which would have been... Absolutely. I don't know if that would have been bigger. Well, no, I think him returning to WWE is definitely big. It would have definitely been pretty huge and very interesting to see if Punk did go to TNA. Like, that's an alternate reality that, you know, I would have loved to see. But I think him being in WWE is the best place for him. So with WrestleMania 40 just around the corner, what are you booking CM Punk for? Like, let me know in the comments who you want to see him against. I think a lot of people, you know, think Punk versus Rollins could be the main event, one of the nights of WrestleMania for the title. I think Punk, you know, part of, he never got to main event WrestleMania in his original run. And I think, you know, that's maybe something that would have tempted him back to WWE, the chance to main event WrestleMania. But I do think actually that this match right here, in fact, this match could main event WrestleMania if it did happen. CM Punk versus Stone Cold, the dream match that never happens. And, you know, is it time now? Stone Cold, you know, he had a match at uh, WrestleMania 38. WrestleMania 40 is a very special one. Could he come back for one more match? CM Punk versus Stone Cold. I, that is a match I would like to see. You know, let me know what you think CM Punk is gonna be doing in the coming months at WrestleMania, who you wanna see him face. And yeah, I'm just gonna end this video with one final post. I think this post right here from Kenny, this puts everything kind of into perspective. Again, this guy puts out some great tweets, so go follow him if you, if you don't on Twitter or X as it's called these days. Um, because he, I often find he's like stealing the words out of my mouth. Like, I'll be thinking something, he'll tweet it. I'll be like, my God, this guy is spot on. But anyway, this is what he says. He says, it may sound cheesy, CM Punk returning to WWE makes me feel like nothing is impossible. No grudge is deep. No bridge is ever truly a uh, The amount of hate this man had towards the company all the comments, all the bad feelings. Nine years later, here he is. If you're holding on to something, let it go. You know, it really does go to show that anything is possible in the World Wrestling Federation. And where we go from here, I don't know. Like, it's very exciting. I'm going to be tuning into WWE to find out where exactly we go. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way through. CM Punk is back, baby. It's clobbering time.